what is Jeet Kune Do? Okay, this opens up a can of worms. And you will see, I'm sure, undoubtedly in the comments, a million different variations on the answers. But what I'm going to give you is what I've been told. I've been very blessed to have trained with several of Bruce Lee's original students. Of course, what we know, it's the art that was developed by Bruce Lee. And we don't say style. I'll get to that in a moment. But um, I initially began my training with Guru Den and Asanto back in the mid-80s. And then I eventually began to train with Sifu Jerry Potit in the late 90s and trained with Sifu Jerry privately until he died in 2012. In fact, I was with him with Sifu Fran and Eric Carr when he passed away uh, at UCLA in 2012. The one thing that I'd like to say about this more than anything else is that when I trained with Sifu Jerry, Sifu always said, all I'm passing on to you is what my Sifu passed on to me. He had no interest in bolstering his own ego. He simply wanted to pass on what had been absolutely life-changing for him. And so what I'll do is pass on what was passed on to me. This isn't an issue of opinion. It's an issue of what I learned from somebody who worked directly with Bruce Lee. I've also been fortunate enough to take workshops with many of the other original students of Bruce Lee. So I think I've got a fairly good grasp of uh, what the original intent was. And I think what's most important to recognize about this is that it's not a martial art. It's a philosophy. It's an approach. It's a way of learning. It's a way of being. It's a way of seeking enlightenment and recognizing that principle through physical practice. There are four essential components, simplicity, economy of motion, longest weapon to the closest target, always you think of hitting when it comes to the actual physical practice of the art. It's a study of biomechanics and efficiency. What is the most efficient manner of movement that I can utilize to be able to protect myself? And how do I connect my mind with my body, with the spirit, and with the Tao, with this universal essence? And how do I find that sense of unity that's going to create a sense of oneness. That's the reason that our center is called Ekita. It's a Sanskrit term which stands for oneness, unity, the Tao. So when you look at the philosophical teachings that Bruce Lee gave, he had an enormous understanding of these very compl complex principles as a philosopher. And when we look at his physical acuity, his dedication what he was able to accomplish in such a short lifespan, he was a remarkable individual. And what he passed on to us, and we have to look at his writings. So what I would encourage you to do, rather than me going on some expose about, well, it's not a mixed martial art, it's a this or that or the other thing. You know, the original mix was modified Wing Chun, fencing, Western boxing. But it's so much more than that. What I would encourage you to do is... Read his own writings. Read the articles that were written by Bruce Lee. Read the books written by John Little that compiled so many works of Bruce Lee. Listen to the teachings of the original teachers. Uh, they're on video. Search it on YouTube. Search for Taki Kimura, Jesse Glover, Dan Asanto, Jerry Poteed. Really make a study of what Bruce was trying to convey on a deeper level. And that's where I think you'll truly catch the essence of what is Jeet Kune Do. The literal translation, the way of the intercepting fist, is a fundamental principle with respect to self-defense to be able to intercept the attack. But there's much more at work on a much deeper level. So do a little investigation on your own, and I'm sure you'll come to a realization and one of Bruce's sayings with all knowledge is self-knowledge. So we have to dig. That's our responsibility. Go find out. Look for ourselves. And this becomes very much a personal expression of ourselves. And we do that through art, through movement, so we can find the sense of unity.